Then why all the excitement? There is just something about tonight. Something is different. Hello, my dears. It's uh, me, Jackie. And welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Yeah, we need to uh, get the password. Or not the password, but the numbers to go in there. Which I have quite an idea. I don't know the numbers of those... But I know how to get the numbers. I just don't know the numbers of those specific symbols. There we go. Ah, the pharaoh. Yeah, that's what he's holding. Oh, a stone. Okay. I should have a stone here somewhere. I didn't even look around to see if there was something to be find in, found in here. But I don't think there was. Oh, Christ. I turned around just a little bit and that happens? Okay, I'm content. Let's go. Mm. We're going in. Mm. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted. Am I inside of a tomb? Like in Egypt? Is this even possible? Okay, oh, that's an eclipse as well. Losing my mind, <laughs> walk to the desert. That's great, yeah. Fantastic. Should be really cold in here. Like, really mm. cold. Oh. Oh, indeed. Oh, look at all the paths that I have to take. Not this one, but... That's a pretty image, in fact. I like that he's so, uh... Oh! By the way, I have a little bit more energy than I had yet uh, before yesterday. The last video that I recorded. Ugh. don't even remember when I recorded. So... I might have a little bit more energy today. Is my mic on? I <laughs> Where am I going? That looks important. That looks very important. What's my flashlight? Look, there's an eye on it. Can I have that shovel? I don't think I can have the shovel. Alright then. Creepy. Very creepy. Aha! I knew there was something in here. An anchor. Oh, I have nothing to... Okay, I have nothing to use on this. Guess I'll have to come back? Because there's not possible that there's something in here. Oh! A sunken desert temple. I better get down there. Right, so we are coming back here at some point. I need to find... Now I understand. I need to find something to attach to that so then I can go down without breaking my legs. Gotcha. Maybe over there in this uh, lovely campsite that I found. Don't be so tired, detective. Come on. You are a detective after all. You should have tons of energy. Well, would you look at that? Exactly what I needed. A rope. Good. And here? Anything? Beyond the Nile. The temple of Nephron lies under our camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. 
Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pooled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun. A message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumes to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. So maybe that's what uh, the guy did. I forgot his name. Jeremy. It's probably what Jeremy did. I'm full on shotgun. Are you fucking serious right now? Ugh, fine. Okay, is there nothing else in here? Doesn't seem like it. I got the rope, so that's all good. I don't see how just 10 shotgun shells is too much for him. He could probably shove everything in his pockets and he would be fine. But alright. To each their own, I guess. Oh fuck, what was that? What are those things? Well, I shot one, but I don't think I needed to do that. Could have used my shotgun and then I could just go back in there and get the thing. Here we go. Indeed, here we go. We're going down and there's no way back. Well, there is. If they don't do anything to my rope. God damn, detective. You good? How is the skins of your hand not being completely shattered? Did that... Yep, that just fell down. The whole rope fell down. That's amazing. The dark man's temple was buried beneath the sand. A cursed and dark place. Every step felt ill-considered. Conby needed to find the contract that Jeremy signed with the Dark Man and get the hell out of here before he went completely mad. I mean... It's the star constellation from one of Jeremy's books. The Taurus. And one star's clearly bigger. Must be important. You mean this one or that one right in the middle? Probably the one right in the middle. That's the one that he's talking about, right? Yeah, because I cannot interact with that. And what's this? Oh, I got the whole thing! Alright then! Uh, sure, the canopy jar. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Uh, like, absolutely nothing. I don't think this would work. It did? Oh! <gasps> Okay. Right, I did that. So you open. But I don't think you are pointing to where you need to point. I got a feeling this is it. This is where the contract is hidden. But how do I get to it? Aha. There's the eye. Okay, I have to go up there. Right. Let's get into this door, because I bet that this door is going to somehow lead me up. There's a lot of things falling. That's not good. How old is this place? Jesus. Oh, we already found something in here? Nope, we found absolutely nothing in here. I see a trace of red paint. And we all know that red paint means the right way to go. Because most of games use yellow, but this one, for some reason, uses red. Come on. Very well, detective. Very well. Oh, another one of these. Hmm. There's something missing. Yeah, the, probably the eye, or a eye, that I have to put in there. Maybe this? The horizon. A lens crafted with unexpected precision and fitted with a tally hierography. Hieroglyph. Hmm. Aha! 
Okay, so that goes in here. Oh. Oh. This one looks operational. It worked. Oh, no, I wanted to get out. I see. I'm starting to understand. Ah, now I understand. Now all the pieces fell together. Now everything makes sense. There was something between those lines. I don't like what I'm hearing, but okay. I don't believe that a whole place like this was made simply to be tombs. There's probably other reasons that the Egyptians built all of those stuff. Not this one in particular, because this one is not real. It's in a video game. <laughs> okay. So now we have a few different ways to go, and I don't like that this is here. It means that monsters are going to come at some point, and then I'll have to deal with them. And I don't want to. Oh, I can hear. Yep, yeah, there, there it is. It's fine. If it's just like those flying things, it's okay. It should be okay. Ah! Oh, I don't have what I need for that. Huh. Okay, so I need to find the lens for some of them, at least. Oh, we have more over here. I am going to get so lost in this place. Okay, where does this lead me? Detective, you're not very... Um, how can I say that? In shape. Can I have that? Oh, I don't think I can have that, but I'll probably use that. So this might be a place to go last. Maybe I'm going to places that I'm not supposed to be yet. A pickaxe? Oh yes, please. Thank you. What is this? Children of the Dark Sun. How many do I have? I have so much. Oh wait, there is bonus. Show sad bonus. New Orleans lies south west of Derceto, along to the Great Mississippi River. It's old town, the French quarter of the Vion Carré. It's the home of the proud, often rich Creoles. Uh, wrapped around the center, you'll find a large and eclectic city full of people. Including the most... What? Oh wait, I can play. New Orleans lies southwest of their set of... But I, I think I already heard that. But what is the bonus? Oh, it's a bonus text. It's a bonus text. Text. Okay. So maybe it just tells you more about the story. Uh, we're gonna go through them later. I don't want that. I want the pickaxe. Thank you very much. Okay. Where do I go? Oh, stuff? Nope. Nothing. Well, I'm on the other side, that's something. Um, what do I point this to? Oh shit, I set the thing on fire. That's not really what I wanted. It worked. That's kind of what I preferred to do. I wasn't really expecting to, you know, make things set on fire. Okay, so now I'm going up. I think I should have come up before, but that also works for me. Oh, there's something in here. Hey! Fuck off. Bullets? No? Come on, give me some bullets at least. Oh, I don't have what I need again. Just 
Jesus, I thought I saw something flying around me. Huh. Well, I did open a door. So let me go check the door that I opened. Okay, I opened this one. I think. Was it open before? I don't think it always oh, snake. Jesus, what is that? Or this? Can I break that? I sure can. Hey, come down. Don't break my pickaxe. Aha. Things. Another one of these. Then there's that. There's empty. You probably have something that I want. No. Alright then. Okay, I'll pull the lever first. Huh? Where am I supposed to- Oh, right! Maybe over here. Okay, can I have that? The star. Right, it's another lens. Okay. I don't think this one would work. Good, I got one thing. Now that there's that and there's this door as well. Aha, secrets! Bullets? Please give me some bullets, god damn it. I'm running out of it. What is that? I don't know what that is, but sure. I'll take it. Which one is better? This or my pickaxe? I have no idea. Maybe the pickaxe is better, but I already used it once. That's okay, I'll keep I'll keep this one. I'll miss the pickaxe though. Oh! Oh my, I'm back down here. Great. Okay, I can put it here. Mm. I cannot put it here. Where do I put the star? Maybe on his head? Can I point this to somewhere else? Like to the side of his head? Like this? Ah! And there's that guy over there as well. Maybe I can put the star in there. Like here. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Is it is it like that? I don't think that's it. It worked. Okay, I can open that door. this. Okay, I get you. Kinda. Right, I have to go back down and then go through that door. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm going this way. Oh, fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. We're good. We survived somehow. Fucking monsters, man. We're going up or going down? I don't know. We're going up. Oh. Up, I just find another. And a passage. That also works for me. Oh, it's just a shortcut. I guess. I don't know if it's a shortcut. But let's consider it a shortcut. There's not where I want to go. I want to go down. Ah, look at that. I think that's what I want. Stop being so tired, detective. Okay. We need a few more. What's that noise? Cut down. Nothing again? Jesus. You're sure giving me tons of nothing. 
Hi. Let's put you down. And now where do I point you to? I think that's the correct way because I don't see any chest or anything in here to be open. Ah, you go around. What is that? Just another weapon? I can take it. Okay. No problem. No problem. I can use this. Fantastic. And the last key. Great. Now, can I pick this up now? Nope. It just doesn't let me change weapons. Just, just keep with what you have. I don't like this ledge. I don't like the amount of blood on this ledge. It's a terrible ledge with the amount of blood that he has. I really dislike it. Anyway, I have everything that I need. We go out of here. Then we go get the shortcut. Okay, I believe that's the one now. Huh. There we go. What up? Why are you screaming at? Fuck off. Now, do I open this door? No, I cannot even go down. I think I don't open any doors anymore. I think I just do this. Okay. Now I have that. Now I have to go on top of his head and probably point down to the main star. Yeah, that's probably it. There we go. I better hurry down there. Well, I don't know about hurry, but... Oh! Oh, really? Oh, for fuck's sake, not this way then. I have to go there before I die, I guess. Come on, detective! The doors are gonna close behind us all, and then we're gonna die in here. Oh, not here. This way. That's not the time for you to get all, like, uh, out of breath, detective. Shit. Alright, then. I'm going through here. Whoa. 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 I'm stuck. I'm 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 just stuck in here. Um game? Game, please. Please game. I am I'm stuck. I just cannot move anymore. That's about it. I'm just very stuck in this location. Fantastic. I'll have to load from the last checkpoint. Yeah, that, that works. Alright, let's do that again. Okay. Don't get stuck on the door again, detective. Alright, that's the best that I can do. This is ready to collapse. I know! We all know this is ready to collapse, but I mean... You decided to get stuck in that thing! And I did not re really had a choice. Yeah, no time for that, detective. No time for that. We really have to hurry up. Oh, look What's at that. Going on? I don't know, but it just stopped. Huh. Let's just get the thing and get out. That doesn't look like a, you know, a sign for me. Ah, uh, that looks more like a contract. Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self-deceit, temper manic behavior. 
These are the Dark Man's terms. The contract. Huh? Cool. What do we do with that? Do we burn it? Really, detective? You just you just let yourself be taken by those things? That was fantastic, detective. I'm very proud of you. Oh, you're chapter four. Oh, cool. Chapter three was actually very short. Well, compared to chapter two, I guess. That was quite long. Hey. Hey, detective. Huh? Who's that? <sighs> oh, it's Emily. What are you doing? Oh, I found some. Great. Was it alcohol? Maybe. God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the dark man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. <laughs> well, just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? Uh, it's around your neck. Oh. Oh. I worry, detective. Don't. I'm fine. I, I would too. I worry that you're not much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know how much he's paying him, but it's definitely not enough for everything that he's doing. Like, for sure. Where am I? Oh, the contract. Ah, yeah, sure. Wow. Ah, now it makes a little bit more sense. Okay, acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self-deceit, temper, manic behavior. And then there's some stuff in there that might be worth it. Medicine has failed me. I can play. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dasetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands. Oh, crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. He must first acknowledge psychological trauma in order to proceed. The lying must stop, so we can break through the barriers of self-deceit. Finally, temper manic behavior. Hmm. And did there's nothing here. Okay. Where I belong, return to their channel. That's... I feel bad for Jeremy for doing all the sacrifice that he's doing. But honestly, it's a good sacrifice. Like, I mean, he's doing everything that he can to keep the evil stuck in one place. And we are here trying to, like, save him. It's a good thing that we're trying to save him, but... Just what this evening needed. Some ambiance. That's blocked. I need to look at the map because I don't really know where I need to go. Combin never thought he'd be so happy to be back at the Seto. It felt like he had crawled through a long, dark tunnel of misery and regret. Tell me about now it. that he was back, Combi could look into the steps mentioned in the contract, but there was one thing that gnawed on him. What exactly did this have to do with Dr. Gray? What if Dr. Gray is actually the Dark Man? Or like the devil itself? I didn't lock the mezzanine. I'm pretty sure this was open, so someone else blocked it. 
Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that this was not bolted. It was re-bolted. I had opened that. Alright, for some reason I cannot go to the attic. <sighs> Got to be around here somewhere. He wouldn't leave this house. Oh, you're back. I don't know what to think anymore. You run into that detective fella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think he wanted a good guy. Oh, you know, like us. Will he be all right with her coming? Praise the mother. He don't need to know about all that. Just help the Just calm down. It ain't time yet. God, it hurts. As far as I can tell, Detective Combi seems to be solving problems, not causing them. Thanks, Batiste. Just be ready in case he starts anything. Yeah, I'm not causing any problems. Come on. I'm here to solve those problems. I'm happy to see that you're alive, lady. What'd you the write two there? orderlies still hadn't found Jeremy. Conby figured this was good news. Emily had reminded him about some strange deaths at Deceto, and Conby wasn't sure who he could trust. Yeah, makes sense. I don't really know if I can actually trust those two. Even though Batiste seems to be on my side, but the lady definitely doesn't like me that much. Oh my god, what happened here? Jesus, this dining room is unrecognizable. It's disgraceful, really. I wish I could remember properly what leads to where because I'm constantly just lost. Christ, what the hell was that? I don't know, where should we be looking for? Up, down, back? It's blocked. Oh, great. Guess we cannot go back in there then. Oh, look, the bathroom. Jesus, there was a gigantic mouse. Looks lovely like always, though. This room? Oh, what is this? Medication that I don't need. But maybe it would be a good idea to just like... There we go. Oh. Preparation for St. John's. We must have faith that Jeremy's pact with the Dark Man is a bluff. If we are lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before night falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra, even Perosi, whose circumstances I can't understand. Grace is our goat without horns. She knows it and will play the role. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. I worry that he will fail us. Mrs. Thompson. So don't they are siblings, that lady and the in Batiste. I don't know her name, I forgot. I think I think the map will tell me her name. Lottie's. Yeah. Uh why is the bathroom pink? Did I miss something in here? Bathroom is never pink. Oh Ah Okay, I found some blo broken glasses. Alright. I'm gonna try to look at everything that is kind of like pink now. Because I need to find a way to break into that guy's office. Good, another clue. Lunacy in the Astarte Artist Colony. A monograph by Yael Klein. In early 1909, the old Derseto plantation outside of New Orleans was turned into an artist's colony. Three famous European artists rented the house and the surrounding land from the owner, the Ledoux family. The colony was chiefly run by Sebastian Cortez, who was playfully dubbed the captain by his collaborators, William Argus and Heinrich Kassel. The colony existed for six years, until one day, all 12 members disappeared without a trace. 
It is widely believed that their disappearance is connected to the disastrous hurricane that passed through on September 29, 1915, but nothing truly supports this claim. What is known is their frequent participation in New Orleans nightlife, their love for hosting parties, and their elaborate contributions to the Mardi Gras parades as the Pirates of Pontchartrain. Accounts of their lifestyle can be found in almost every gossip column. It can effectively be summed up as carefree and bohemian. In late June 1909, the name Astarte first appeared in the newspapers. Cortez said the name came to him as he was painting. There is never any claim to knowing about the ancient Phoenician fertility goddess with the same name before this time. His fellow colonist Heinrich Castle did know, because he later produced sculptures that show clear references to ancient idols of the goddess. It's impossible to know for sure how this name suddenly made an appearance, but it is interesting because of Derseto's history. Even the name Derseto is the Greek name of a Syrian fertility goddess. In the case of naming the plantation, Derseto was certainly not an accident. We know that Elia Pickford intended to build a temple for his cult, for he had distributed pamphlets two years prior to the purchase of the land, advertising his intentions. His followers were estimated to be almost a hundred men and women, mostly sailors, maroons, and Cajuns, when the plantation was built. To outsiders, Dorsetto registered as an ordinary slave plantation, which enabled Pickford and his flock to remain hidden for decades. The official story is that the cult lasted until 1862, when the Union Army came and burned down the plantation and scattered all who lived there. Following the Civil War, new people started to congregate in the ruins of Dorsetto to invent a new fertility goddess, the Shub Nigrath. As much as Dorsetto is a particular name to have heard of, it's not entirely uncommon among the learned. Astarte is equally known and could have been subconsciously chosen by well-read artists. Shub Nigorath is, on the other hand, very uncommon. Almost impossible that anyone in Louisiana would have heard that name. The name is referenced only in rare books like Udnausprechlichen Kulten and the Necronomicon, and is believed to be a bastardization of Arabic words meaning pertaining to the dark young. The few paragraphs printed on the goddess are so upsetting that no one in their right mind would want to build a religion resting on such qualities. The Shub Nigarath cult was hard to get rid of, but it is believed that despite the police jailing and killing several cultists over the years, the main culprit in the cult's demise is the cult itself, which seems to line up with every instance of cult activity on Darseto's grounds. When Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army arrived, he described the people at their seto as malnourished and maniacal. As much as the army tried to save them, they fought back with fervor, as if nothing was going to stop them from slowly destroying themselves. While the disappearance of the Astarte Artis colony remains a mystery, the recurring motif seems to suggest that their fate involved lunacy and a hunger for self-sacrifice, to that fertility goddess with a thousand names. What a weird thing. Okay, a whole cult in the name of a fertility god and people basically just willing to die for it? Oh no man, people are, people are weird in so many ways. Oh look, more clues! I love that you're reading for me. Oh no, it's it's not a clue. It's a Lagni Lagni app. I don't know how to read that. Okay. I got that. Now where's my map? Okay, everything here is blue, so it's fine. I cannot go to the drawing room. This has is blocked, but I think the dining room is blocked. So maybe I can still come in here. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hmm. 
You could kinda hear something, but it was so muffled that it was very difficult to understand. Alright, this is open, so that's great. It doesn't matter going in here. Does it have anything in here? Aha, the conservatory is completely pink. So there must be something here. What is that? Is it the... Is the tree? One of the young. This is it, Edward. Now is the time. Let it happen. You want them. You need this to matter. I don't need anything to matter. I matter, madam. I matter the way that I am. Fuck off right now. Is this shit still pink? Yep, the conservatory is still pink. But I don't I don't know where it's coming from. I think it's coming from the tree, but it's not like I can interact with it. I don't know what's happening with this tree, it's just talking. I'll, I'll leave you alone, I think. I don't know what to do about you. was that? I don't know what, was, what that was. Okay, I'm back into the main entrance it seems. The hall. Clerk's office, treatment room, Dr. Gray's office. Why is the conservatory not pink anymore? Did I miss my, uh, my chance of whatever was happening there? I think I did because the stairs just fell off. Whatever it was, I missed it. I don't think I can go back. Doesn't seem like I can go back. Oh, that sucks to me. I think it's here. I'm awful with maps. Yeah, this is the reception. I think this was the guy's office. Right? It should be here. But it's blocked. So I can't go there. Oh, cool. I found I found the thingy. There must be a spare key to Dr. Gray's office in here somewhere. I need the key. Maybe the key would be in the in the coffer, not the coffer, the safe. Yeah, most probably is in the safe, but I don't know if I know the I don't have the combination for this. But maybe Jeremy did. How did Jeremy have that? Unless it's the same as before, like I think it was four left, five right. No, I don't think I have it, so maybe I have to go to Jeremy's room. <sighs> now, some things here might be locked, so let me see. Oh, they're not. And I can actually go back in there and open it up from the mezzanine. So I'm going to my left and I'm going to try to go to the mezzanine first. See if I can open the door to the stairwell. Because the mezzanine is also pink, so there's definitely something to be found in here. I don't see why it's pink. There's nothing here. This one is locked. Isn't that Batiste's room? Oh no, Perosi's room. Okay. So it doesn't matter. I think this is Batiste's room. Oh, and you already left something in here for me. Trust me. Clue. Brother, I need you to trust me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the terrible Mama Loa told you lies. I would never betray you. I promise. Lottie. And how can we trust you, Lottie? Why are you trustworthy? Huh? Tell me. Tell me your secrets, Lottie. I don't believe you. It's all lies. Anyway, Jeremy's room. Yeah, maybe he has something in here that we have missed completely. 
Like this piece of paper that's completely new and wasn't here before. To Detective Carby. Detective Carby, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I have destroyed that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to New Orleans. Sincerely, Jeremy. How do you pronounce that? New Orleans? Well, you definitely did not have the clue that I was looking for, Jeremy. But sure, I accept that, I guess. But it did say you locked something in the attic. And I don't know if I'm going to the attic to find it. Well, your room is completely blue now so there's definitely nothing here that's gonna help me to figure out the password for that safe and here's dr gray's apartment that i cannot go because i don't have the key or anything to come in here <sighs> oh do not disturb sign well that's great but i still don't have the key for that i think dr gray might be in there perfect time to snoop around his office then well, yeah, it's, it is the perfect time, but I don't have what I need to snoop around his office. Time to go to the other side. Maybe someone here will have what I need. Like this drunken man here. Detective Conby. Good to see you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, Detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait! Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not much. We eat, we drink, we pay tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory. The usual. Then why all the excitement? There is just something about tonight. Something is different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new words for the prayer thanks to your buddy Jeremy. She'll come and turn the world inside out, and things will begin again. That sounds strangely threatening. <laughs> yeah. You should come. Oh, God damn it, Grace. Stay put for once. Why do you have to go after her? Why does this dude need to go after a child? Stay away from that kid, you weirdo. Well, you definitely left something on the ground. Oh, the fourth floor hall key. Huh. So convenient. Better hold on to these. Wouldn't want them to get lost. No, absolutely not. You know, I really need to hold them up to dear life. I have to end this episode here. So, if you liked it, you know the drill. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to play tons of other games besides this one. And as usual, I hope you all have a happy ever after. And I'll see you on the next day. Bye-bye.